Well, the day a lot of people have been looking forward to is finally here. The November 2017 MPD listings are out. And yes, Sony has claimed victory once more. What is going on, guys? Randall Thor 19 the man with the million, back again with another video. And before we get started, I just want to mention that if you haven't checked out the Xbox 2 podcast with me and Jez Corden, uh, do yourself a favor and check it out. We did it yesterday. It was a pretty good show, so check it out if you haven't already. And if you're interested in hearing about my impressions on Player Unknown Battlegrounds on the Xbox One X, make sure to check out the video I did the other day. I'm like 20 hours into the game now, um, enjoying it quite a bit despite the, well, pretty bad issues it does have with the frame rate and all that stuff. So check that video out too. Now we're to the main event. A lot of people were looking forward to December 14th, for this was the day we would find out who would win November 2017 MPD. Would the Xbox be victorious with the launch of the X? Or would the 199 PlayStation 4 put it on top? Or would the hype around the Nintendo Switch uh, put it on top? And I gotta admit, right out of the gate, I'm taking an L on this one. Uh, I predicted back in October when I did that video about what the sales would be. Well, I was wrong. I predicted that number one would be the Nintendo Switch. And it's not number one. Uh, the leaks kind of have it at number three. We don't know what order the systems are in. We only know that PlayStation 4 is number one. So I'm taking the L. I predicted wrong. I thought the Nintendo Switch hype, you know, the Mario... And all, you know, because it was winning like the last seven months. I thought that would kind of translate over to November and it would have a great month. Um, the kind of leaks have it at 800,000, uh, which is on par with PlayStation 4's like first holiday. Uh, but that would probably leave it in like third place. So I guessed wrong. But then I'm also wrong. I had Xbox at number two and PlayStation 4 at number three. Although I did say that both of those would be extremely close. And that you could interchangeably switch them. It turns out, well, I should have went with PlayStation because it's number one. And not only did Sony win November 2017 MPD, not only did they have their best November ever, they also had their best month ever. That's right, the PlayStation 4 sold more consoles this month, well, this, this past November, than any month since it's been out. More than the launch month... Uh, when the system first came out, more than any other November, more than any other December before it. That 199 PlayStation really drove uh, the system to heights, uh, you know, like really, really, uh, you know, high heights. I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. Like, it really drove the system uh, up a notch, basically. I wonder what's going to happen when Sony officially kind of price cuts the system down to 199 in the future seems like a lot of people were waiting for that so we know that it's the best month for playstation ever which leads that to be around like 1.5 1.58 million units so you gotta hand it to sony they know exactly what to do to sell a system uh they dropped it to 199 on november 17th uh which seemed to really help out because from that November 17th onwards on every website, it was like PlayStation 4 was just number one. And it sounds like from the leak, you know, and from the articles and stuff that are written here in this Venture Beat as well as on the Reset Era forum, that Xbox is number two. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of talk. People are going to accuse people of damage control and things like that. And while, yes, I did predict that Xbox would slight beat PlayStation a little bit, just because I thought that the Xbox One X would kind of give it that head start that would help it overcome Sony. Hey, I was wrong, man. You know what happens when you predict these type of things. You put your predictions on the line. I was wrong. I'm a man. I'll take my L. Uh, Sony outsold the Xbox One. It looks like the X wasn't enough to give it that cushion that I thought possibly could help it. Uh, but, you know, there is some good news. Uh, Xbox One had its best November ever, so there is that, and 
if you go and take a look at the numbers, that would place it anywhere between uh, like 1.3 million and like 1.5 million uh, because 1.5 million was the highest month it ever did. So they said the best November ever, but not the best month ever. So those are your kind of two marks there. It's greater than 1.3 million, but less than 1.5. So it's somewhere in that area. Pretty good month. And they also did say that the Xbox One actually brought in the most money. Uh, obviously, they also had the most expensive system on sale during the month of November at $500. So no surprise that the Xbox One uh, platform, the family of devices, brought in the most revenue. Uh, more than PlayStation and more than the Switch. Now as for the Switch, 800,000 units. I think that's pretty good. It's on par with PlayStation 4's... Uh, first uh, holiday, uh, I thought, I, I kind of fell for the hype. I thought it was going to kind of sweep a little bit more, you know, and it sounds like it's number three. So it sounds like the listings are for sure PlayStation 4 number one, and then Xbox number two, and, you know, Switch number three. But interesting enough, we also get game listings with that, and I'm going to switch over to the Reset Era Forum because I actually like the layout here better but man call of duty world war ii is absolutely killing it. it was november's best-selling game overall and instantly became the best-selling game of 2017 year to date as well as the rolling 12-month period ending november 2017 uh and this version of call of duty actually had the most consumer spending of any call of duty since black ops 2 in november 2012 uh, that is really impressive. Sounds like Call of Duty is back on the mountaintop. Not that it really ever left, but it's kind of regained from the fall of Infinite Warfare and Advanced Warfare. They also mentioned Assassin's Creed Origins was the third best-selling game of November, and that over its first two months, Assassin's Creed Origins has generated the highest consumer spend for Assassin's Creed since 2013's Black Flag. So, it's making its way back up the, the mountaintop as well, so... You know, they see uh, good results for delaying a game and making sure it's polished. Um, so we're going to take a look at the top 20 games for the month. You got Call of Duty number one, Star Wars Battlefront 2 number two, which despite all the protesting and hate for this game and everything that went around it with the loot boxes and stuff, still the second biggest game for the month. Assassin's Creed number three, NBA 2K18, number 4, Madden 5, Super Mario Odyssey, FIFA, Need for Speed, Destiny 2, number 9, the two Pokemon games, Middle Earth, Shadow of War, Grand Theft Auto 5, Sims 4, Zelda, Mario Kart 8, Wolfenstein 2, South Park, WWE, and Just Dance. Now, some people don't understand, and they will kind of say to you, well, MPD doesn't matter because they don't track digital sales, and digital sales is on the rise and it's true like even in this thread and in the venture beat article they talk about there are some games that their sales digitally are over 50 percent for that for for digital which is absolutely amazing but as you guys can see right here a star means no digital sales two stars means no battle.net sales the only one not giving digital sales to mpd is nintendo uh microsoft sony activision everybody's on board uh destiny 2 you just don't have digital sales for battle.net so anytime you see somebody saying out there that that's bull that you can't really take this uh software chart accurately you just tell them you're wrong because you don't know what you're talking about i mean sure it doesn't give maybe the full picture of nintendo software because nintendo doesn't give digital but everybody else does so right there for any doubters that mpd doesn't include digital sales this show them this video show them the screen show them like this thread or this thread you know about from venture beat where they have the same information no digital sales blah 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 blah, blah. digital is included right now what's interesting here is the platform separation for the titles the top 10 for each look at how xbox one and playstation 4s are basically the same list call of duty Star Wars, Assassin's Creed, NBA, Madden, FIFA, Need for Speed, Destiny. The top eight games sold for Xbox One and PlayStation 4 for the month of November. They're the same game. It only, like, changes there at number nine. Where at number nine, it's Forza. And ten is Middle Earth. 
9 for PlayStation's Grand Theft Auto V, and 10 for Wolfenstein II The New Colossus. So the top 8 selling games on both platforms are basically the same. You know, granted, the Xbox One and PlayStation share the majority of the same library. Um, it's a little bit. Di- I do think it's a little bit interesting that Forza is on Xbox's, you know, top 10, where Gran Turismo, you know, the counterpart to Forza, isn't in the top 10, but I don't know what you can really read into that. Uh, obviously, Mario, and both Mario games are 1 and 2, with Zelda 3, Skyrim number 4, and Doom coming in at number 8 on a Nintendo Switch. And here are the best-selling games of 2017 so far. You got Call of Duty World War II, you got Destiny 2, you got Madden, you got Ghost Recon, you got Zelda, Grand Theft Auto V, For Honor, Injustice 2, and Horizon Zero Dawn. So you have a couple new IPs there. You have For Honor at number 8, a new IP from Ubisoft that's completely different from any other type of game out there. Uh, the 8th best-selling game of the year. That's pretty awesome, and that's a multi-platform game. But even more impressive, in my opinion is Horizon Zero Dawn. It's the 10th best-selling game of the year so far. It's a new IP, and it's only on one system. Uh, I think that's pretty good, especially when you compare it to the other games that it's up against. Um, Of course, the best-selling games over the last 12 months, pretty much the same list. list. The only difference is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is in there, and NBA 2K17 along with Final Fantasy XV. Uh, That's the game stuff. I like looking at all these things, kind of see trends, but I know, of course, the... Big story here is Xbox One not winning. Um, But it sounds like when you read all this stuff, like hardware spending is grew 52% compared to a year ago. Um, Software spending was up 19% versus a year ago. So software and hardware sales are uh, up a lot, even accessories. So it sounds like the industry is in a great place. PlayStation 4 just blew the doors off of everything. You know, had its best month ever, you know, for the first time being 199 Xbox One, uh, with the launch of the X, brought in the most money and had the best November month ever for Xbox. And the Switch continues to do what the Switch does. So, all in all, it seems like a really good month for the video game industry. But I know what people want is they want that hot take about Xbox versus PlayStation, right? Because that's what it's about. Uh, people are going to make fun of and laugh and say, ha ha, you Xbots, uh, you know, this, the Xbox couldn't even win MPD and it launched with new hardware, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I'll leave that fanboy nonsense for other people. That's not what I do on this channel. I just like talking about facts and giving my opinion and my, uh, you know, interpretation of what I see. You got to hand it, man. Sony, they killed it. They killed it with that 199. They positioned it November 17th. And I've always said from the very beginning that the PlayStation 4, when you put the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox side by side, more people want a PlayStation 4. It's the more in demand product. And that's proven time and time again this entire generation when the Xbox is more expensive, when the Xbox is the same price. And when the Xbox is slightly cheaper than the PlayStation, consumers will always choose the PlayStation. The only way the Xbox kind of stands a chance in competing is if the Xbox, the base Xbox, the one that sells the most, is significantly cheaper than its PlayStation 4 counterpart. So a 199 PlayStation 4 versus a 189 of Xbox One S, the 199 PlayStation 4 is going to win because, like I just said, PlayStation 4 is a more wanted product more people have it more people recommend it it is what it is a playstation is a global brand in a way that xbox isn't but if xbox wants to kind of get some sales traction they got to drop it you know the the price for the xbox one s in comparison to the playstation 4 has got to be 150 if they want to kind of win but i don't think it's about winning for them i think they're happy making money making money off their subscriptions xbox live xbox game pass and they're just happy making money, uh, you know, being number two or number three, I guess. They're not going to, I guess, break the bank trying to be number one because Sony's got that for this gen, you know, locked down. And I said from the very beginning, you can go back and check podcasts from 2013, PlayStation had this gen locked up the moment Xbox said $500. It was over. Um, 
But, got to admit, Xbox had a pretty good month themselves. Their best November ever. Uh, brought in the most revenue. The X seems to be pretty popular among the Xbox hardcore enthusiasts. So that's always good to see. I, I am waiting to see if we actually get a breakdown of what the X sales were. I think that would be pretty, pretty interesting. And Nintendo's going to do what Nintendo does, and they're going to be successful doing it. So that is my whole take on this uh, NPD stuff. And it's pretty amazing. Call of Duty was the best-selling game in 2017 on just one month. Call of Duty's back. Just when people are ready to write off Call of Duty, they go back to World War II, boots on the ground, give the fans what they wanted. And they're back number one, baby. I mean, there's something to be said for giving the fans exactly what they've been wanting. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button to show your support for the channel. Make sure you share this out on social media like Twitter and Facebook. Make sure you hit that like button, or not like button, the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, what are you waiting for? Uh, the channel post content all the time, reviews, opinions, and things like that. So hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you're always notified when I drop new videos. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the whole video. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.